The original Baja Designs S2 LED pod lights came out in 2012, and today there's something new from this powerhouse in the lighting industry. Baja Designs is a trusted name in off-road LED lighting, and today they have the S2 SAE, which uses a new aspheric projector optic to allow you to use these things on public streets safely and legally. Okay, so what does SAE mean and why does that mean street legal? Well, SAE stands for Society of Automotive Engineers. This is basically a group of people that got together and defined what is a safe light output for public roads where you're driving with other people. You don't want something that looks like this. Here's a floodlight. Look at how huge that beam pattern is. That's gonna get in the eyes of oncoming drivers. Or how about this one, a combo beam pattern. You can see that big round circle in the middle that's way too tall and way too bright. If you have it aimed improperly, you're gonna to totally blind everybody else on the road. SAE fog lights like this have a very specific beam pattern shape. Take a look at this. On the top, you have the Baja Designs S2 SAE in white and the S2 SAE in yellow. First, you'll notice that they're shaped like a box. They're a very specific width and a very specific brightness. You can also see that the intensity of light is distributed very evenly throughout the entire beam pattern. But most importantly is the top. Look at how straight and flat that beam pattern is. There's almost no light above that line. And that's where these aspheric projector optics come in. They control that light and create this very specific beam pattern so that when you're driving with these lights on, on public roads, oncoming drivers don't get blinded. That flat cutoff line at the top of the beam pattern keeps the brightness of these pods below the eyesight of oncoming drivers. That's all it means. When you see SAE whatever on an off-road product like this, it means it's allowed to be used on public streets legally. Sometimes the beam patterns are called SAE fog. Sometimes they're called SAE wide or SAE driving. Now Baja Designs isn't the first company to create an SAE pod for use as a fog light or an on-road application. Listen, here at Headlight Revolution, we're owned by the same company that owns Morimoto Lighting. So I'm gonna show you those results along with the Baja Designs, but trust me, the testing is the same across the board. There's no bias here. We just want you guys to know exactly what you're buying and what your options are on the market. First, let's take a look at the brightness of the Baja Designs S2 SAE. I'm gonna put the white and the yellow on the screen. I'm gonna show you the Lux, and then we're gonna compare it to two other products that are out there today that are comparable in function and form. Now, the way that we do the testing is we put the lights at a certain distance away from the wall, we turn them on, and we measure Lux with a digital meter. Lux is the actual usable brightness at a certain point in space. So in this controlled environment, we can demonstrate how much or less brighter one product is to another. This is different than lumens. This is actual brightness. Lumens is more theoretical and not really appropriate for these kind of tests. The Baja Designs S2 SAE is pretty consistent throughout its entire beam pattern when it comes to brightness. The white version came in at 100 maximum lux, and the yellow version came in at only 70 maximum lux. This is expected. It's normal for the yellow LED chips to be less efficient and less bright than their white counterparts. Now let's switch it up to the Morimoto NCS SAE Wide. This is the fog light, street legal, pod light version from Morimoto. And this is Morimoto's entry level. So the next one I show you is gonna be even brighter than this. The Morimoto NCS two banger SAE wide in white comes in at 170 maximum lux and the yellow comes in at 80 maximum lux. Now this is where it gets really crazy. Here's the flagship pod light model from Morimoto Lighting, the Morimoto HXB two banger SAE wide. These are street legal, but they're way brighter than anything else you're gonna find. The white comes in at a massive 240 maximum lux, and the yellow comes in at 130 maximum lux, almost double some of the other pod lights in the market. 
you can get a street legal LED pod light like the S2 SAE from several different brands, all in roughly the same size, but they're all different styles and different brightnesses and beam patterns, just like what you saw here when looking at Baja and Morimoto, the brightness and the beam patterns were different. There's a lot of reasons to choose the Baja Designs S2 SAE. These guys have been around forever and they are one of the highest quality and best performing LED pod lights in the market, especially if you like this look and you like their brand, I highly recommend picking up a set of these at headlightrevolution.com. And in fact, while you're there, you can see all the other Baja Designs products that might fit your car or truck. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at what you can expect when you open your Baja Designs S2 SAE when it arrives in the mail. Each box comes with two pod lights, and inside you also have the mounting accessories like a relay harness and your brackets and a giant Baja Design sticker. Everything you need to do your install for the most part is gonna be included. When it comes to the mounting brackets, they are really nice, made out of laser cut stainless steel. And you can see it's just a universal U-bracket that you can mount this way or this way, depending on what you need. So then you have all of that adjustability. The wire harness is also very high quality. It's not your typical Deutsch style connector, but it is another type of high quality waterproof connector. Don't let this fool you. When you see this, it doesn't look like what most brands sell. It's okay, this is a very good connector. The wiring is really high quality. It has a thick sheath on it. You're probably not gonna see these things bend and break or get cut very easily. The wire harness that it connects to is this huge relay harness. Now, it's not as nice as some of them that are out there because as you can see, some of the components are not waterproof. Here is just a basic automotive 12 volt relay without a waterproof connector. Normally, you would have a rubber seal in there and some clips that give it positive tension to hold everything together to create a small seal to keep the water out. This doesn't have that. That's a water ingress point that can cause problems down the road. And also, the other connection that it has for the switch is not waterproof. So if either of these connections are exposed to the elements, there's a pretty good chance over time they will fail. And the other three components of this harness are the fuse holder, which is your standard water resistant type of fuse box. You have the two connectors that plug into the pod lights themselves, high quality waterproof, and you have this little red light up rocker switch. It's just kind of your standard plastic switch that you might find just about anywhere. But the good news is it's a super long harness. Look at how huge this thing is. There's a really good chance that wherever you mount these, whatever kind of car or truck or side-by-side -side or whatever you're doing, this is gonna reach into the cab so you can mount your switch without a problem. And if you're new to the off-road or on-road LED pod light game, go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make, and model, and we'll show you everything that fits your car or truck. And if that's still not enough, give us a call or shoot us an email. We got a room full of lighting experts and automotive enthusiasts who would love to help you pick out the right thing for your next project. Mm -hmm.